Welcome back to another math lesson. Let's take a look at what all this is talking about. It says simplify using drawings and then find a shortcut strategy. Let's see what this says. It says 2 and then it has brackets and in the brackets we have x plus 3. Now by now ladies and gentlemen you understand according to bed mass that you always start with the b. Or if you're looking at ped, what is it called? Ped mass, PEMDAS, you start with the parentheses. Parentheses, brackets, it's all the same stuff. We start inside here. And we need to look at this here. We need to create x plus 3. And by now you've watched the other videos and you understand that x means a mystery number like that. And then we need plus 3 after it. So we get these positive 3s. Red symbolizing positive numbers. Now what about that number on the outside? What is that all about here? We're done on the inside here. We're done this bracket stuff. X plus 3 is done. But what is that 2? What is that 2 doing there? Is it, is it, does it have a purpose? And the answer is yes, it does have a purpose. What's the purpose of that 2? Well, there's nothing in between them. There's no addition sign between the brackets and the 2. Look between them. Do you see any addition or subtraction? Any division? There's nothing. And whenever we see nothing, we know it is multiplication. In other words, we need to times whatever is in this bracket, namely this, we need to times it by 2. And another way of saying times 2 is to double. So we will double it like that. We have doubled the x plus 3. We had x plus 3, but then we doubled it. We times it by 2. Now what do we have all together? We have not 1x anymore. We have two x's. This one and that one. And we don't have plus three anymore. We have double that. We have plus six. So two multiplied by x plus three becomes two x plus six. Now we look at the second one and we see again, we have brackets. So we will look inside the brackets and we will create x minus 3. We will take an x and then we will take minus 3. So we'll take minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. We take them like this and then we need to look at that number on the outside because we are done the brackets. We have created whatever was asked of us in the brackets. Outside the brackets it says to times by 3 and another way of saying times by 3 is triple. So we will times by 2, that's double, and triple means one more. I'll squeeze it in there. Now instead of an x, we have, look at that, we have three x's. So we can write 3x, just like that, 3x. We've tripled that x, and then we will look at not minus 3 anymore, but we have minus 9, right? We got minus 9 because we tripled that negative 3, that minus 3. We tripled it to make minus 9. Now look at this one here. We have more brackets. So looking inside the brackets, it states x minus 2. And x minus 2 is simply an x and minus 1, minus 2. Not the red ones. The red ones are positives. They're pluses. The blue ones are minuses. So now, what does it ask of us? It asks of us, that 4 asks of us to not double, like this, not triple, but to quadruple, to make 4 groups of these. That's all it is. It's how many groups you need. We got 4 groups. You know, this last one here, the very first one, we had 1 group, 2 groups, times 2. Here we had 3 groups. We had 1, 2, three groups. Here we got four groups. You can see them. So we don't have x anymore. We have how many x's? We got four x's. So we write four x. Four x. And we don't have minus two anymore. We have minus eight because we times it by four to make minus eight. And now we look at the last one here. We have x plus four. So we will make it first because bed mass says start in the brackets. So we create x plus four and that's not hard. None of this is hard, really. Is this hard? It's easy. You make x plus 4. I made my x plus 4. And the number 1 on the outside says make one group. 
times by one. Don't double it like here. Don't triple it. Don't quadruple it. Just times it by one. Just have one group. There, we're done. So what does that create? One multiplied by x plus four just makes x plus four. That's it. Let's apply this now. Oh, wait. We need to find a shortcut strategy. I forgot. So we need a shortcut strategy so we're not always drawing tiles. You're expected to draw tiles to prove you understand how to do this. But after that, after you have proof to your teacher, you get it. We don't have to keep proving it. We can just use some shortcuts and get the answer really fast. So what can we do here as a shortcut? Well, look at the pattern here. Instead of 1x, when there was a 2 outside, instead of 1x, we had double that. So we had 2x's, right? Instead of positive 3, we had double that, positive 6, right? So if the number on the outside is a 2, you just double everything inside. And the way I want you to show that is by drawing arrows. So go one at a time. Take the 2, make an arrow from the 2 to the x, like this. So that just means you're timesing by 2. You're timesing the x by the 2. The 2 is going and attacking the x. It's going, ha ha, I'm going to double you. And then the x says, okay. You got double x. You got two x's. And then make an arrow from the 2 to the positive 3. And now the 2 says, I'm going to double the positive 3 to make positive 6. And that's all you got to do. Just draw those arrows in. Let's draw arrows here on the next one. Let me erase this. Whoa, that's a big one. Here, what the 3 will do, we'll draw an arrow from the 3 to the x. And we will, the 3 goes to the x and says, I'm going to triple you. And so it becomes not 1x, it becomes 3x's. And then draw an arrow from the 3 to the negative 3. So now we're going to triple the negative 3. Right, we're just multiplying, right, to get negative 9. So you can apply this. Some of you are like, I get this, Mr. M. But I'm going to keep going anyways, for those of you who may need to see more. We're going to draw an arrow from the 4 to the x to make 4x's. And then from the 4 times, it's going to multiply the negative 2, and it's going to make negative 8. And this last one here, we're going to draw an arrow from the 1 to the x, and that'll just make 1x. Where's the 1? We don't write 1s. We just leave them out when we're multiplying by 1. And then we can write a number 1 all the way to the positive 4 to make positive 4. 1 times positive 4 is positive 4. And you can see that in all these pictures, that this number is indeed a reflection of what is going on in terms of multiplication. Now, before I move on, let me go back. This is like the third time I've gone back, second time. This strategy where we draw the arrows, I want you to write this down. It is called distribution. D-I-S, dis, tribution. If I ever ask you to distribute or to solve using distribution, I'm asking you to take the number on the outside and multiply it by everything that's in the brackets, one at a time. That's called distribution. Here's the first question I'm giving you. Solve using distribution and make an equivalent expression. Let's see what this is all about. Now here we don't have a just a 4. We have a negative 4. So what happens here? It's the same thing except this 4. Imagine the negative wasn't there. What does the 4 tell the W? He says, I'm going to quadruple you. I'm going to times you W. I'm going to times you by 4. So there's going to be 4 of you. So then we're going to get 4 W's. But that negative means we have negative 4 W. Right. Because that's a positive W. And a positive times a negative is a negative. Negative 4 W. Then we'll repeat with the negative 4 is going to do the same to the positive 4. He's going to say, hey, I'm going to quadruple you. So instead of positive 4, we're going to have 16. But wait a minute. Negative times a positive is a negative 16. That's the only difference. Now you got to pay attention to the signs when you multiply. So that's the only difference you got to keep in mind. Let's move on to the last one. Wait, back to this one here. We call this an equivalent expression because they are identical. It's just expressed differently. So negative 4 bracket w plus 4 bracket is the same as saying negative 4w minus 16. They are equivalent. They are both equal to one another. 
Now here it says reduce using distribution. So again, we have that word distribution. Then use the two-step method to find the value of W. And I'm going to change this W value just a little bit. I'm going to make it, uh, let me see here. I don't want two. Let's have four. I think four should work. So let's distribute. We'll take the negative three. Multiply by W, you're going to get negative three W's. Negative three times negative four will make positive 12 equals four. Right. Okay, wait, not four. I'm going to change the four again. I'm going to make it three. That'll work. So this here, I'm going to erase it. Let's make it three. Just so the numbers work out better. That's all I did. I just changed the question a bit. Now, the two-step method, you may, if you've forgotten, you may need to rewatch those videos, but essentially it is reverse bed mass. So we're going to start with eliminating everything beside the variable, and that includes the negative 3 and the positive 12, and reverse bed mass says you go with eliminating the, the addition one first. So we're going to go minus 12, minus 12. Now, 3 minus 12 is negative 9. And the equals falls down, and the, this becomes zero, and this is negative three w. That's step one. Step one. It's two steps, right? So now we're going to move on to the second step, which is divide by negative three, because these are being multiplied. So that cancels the negative and the three to make one w, which is just w, and then divide this side by negative three to make a positive three. Negative divided by negative is a positive. Nine divided by three is three. W is positive three. We can substitute it in here and say negative three. Instead of W, we'll put a positive three minus four equals three. That there. I just substituted there. Now, positive three take away four is negative one. Bed mass, do the brackets first equals 3, and we know that po negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3 equals 3. And these are true statements, which means we did the question correct.